Representative Lover, do you wish to uh, make the motion for possible inclusion? Thank you, Mr. Chair. I will move House File 3260 to be laid over for possible inclusion. I'll go ahead with your presentation. And do you, do you have an amendment? The eight. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So I'd like to move the H3260A1 amendment. And uh, that amendment just changes the effective dates? Yes. Okay, please, please, all those in favor of the amendment to get the bill in the way the author wishes, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is approved. The amendment is approved. Go ahead with your testimony. Thank you, Mr. Chair and members. So this is the position of authority legislation of 2018. So the Minnesota Co Coalition Against Sexual Assault, MNCASA, developed this legislation with prosecutors from around the state in its public policy committee. The Minnesota County Attorneys Association supports this legislation, and this bill creates a look back period of 120 days for position of authority. So a person in a position of authority over a child under the age of 18 is someone who's acting in the place of a parent and has a duty to protect the welfare of the child. So here to discuss the bill further is Caroline Palmer with Mincasa, and she'll be able to answer any questions. Representative Lower, go ahead, continue. <clears throat> oh. I'm turning it over to my testifier, Carolyn Palmer from Carol, Mincasa. Uh, Ms. Palmer, go ahead. Please introduce yourself and uh, proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chair, members of the committee, and thank you so much, Representative Wilmer, for carrying this bill. We really appreciate it. I also want to thank the committee for hearing so many sexual assault bills and indulging me coming up to the table time and after time this session. Uh, we really appreciate all of your support and efforts. Um, as Representative Lomer said, essentially what this bill does is it creates a 120-day look-back period, and essentially the way this would work is um, currently under the law, we have the position of authority within our criminal sexual conduct statutes. This pertains to teachers, coaches, anybody who's sort of charged with the caregiving or caretaking of a child. When you send your child to school, when you send them to sports, things like that, um, they are under a position of authority. And this particular part of the statute really applies to youth who are 16 and 17 years old. The way the statute is written right now is it says a parent charges somebody else with a position of authority. So when you send your student to school, you are giving the school that authority. Um, we are doing a couple of things in this bill. First of all, we are also recognizing situations in which somebody might be assuming a position of authority. So it could be somebody who says to the child, I'm now your tutor, I'm now your mentor, but they haven't received that express contract with the parent to do so. This has happened in some cases, so we're adding this language into the statute. And then with regard to the look back period, if for example, a, a teacher, coach, somebody else has been grooming the student over the course of the school year with the anticipation that the summer holiday is coming and might act upon those intentions, this would have that look back period that says, okay, you have been in that role in the past 120 days we're considering you in a position of authority. And again, these, these situations do happen. So it's, it's really just as basic as that, but I'm happy to answer any questions. Representative Constantine. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, could you go a little bit more into that 120 days? Is it mm -hmm. just basically summer vacation? Is, is Ms. Bomer? Yeah, Mr. Chair, uh, Representative Constantine, yeah, it, it, it's really basically the time frame that we came to as an agreement. And, you know, this bill has actually been around for a few <coughs> sessions, and so it's been through a couple of committees. And this is the time frame that we found that everybody can agree upon, and, and it's, a, it's a pretty good amount of time. So. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chair. Any other questions from members? Uh, anybody from the public wish to testify on this bill? Okay, with that, I will lay the bill over for possible inclusion. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Chair and members. <clears throat>